Happy Sunday. Welcome to the Sabbath and welcome to the 18th Sunday of Ordinary Time. This is Father Mark over at Christ Redeemer Catholic Church in Thibodeau. Many of you receive this podcast daily and as we have uh, gotten to know each other through these daily podcasts, you are now familiar with the rhythm of how our podcasts usually go. But this morning, I'm going to stray a little bit from script and share my heart with you a little bit. And therein, invite you into one of the most exciting things that uh, has been a part of my priesthood in the last 18 years. A couple weekends ago, I had the privilege of uh, working the Domestic Church Retreat, which was a retreat hosted at Lumen Christi, uh, facilitated by our parish at Christ the Redeemer, in which we had a number of married couples there, and a far majority of them were from our parish. We were kind of testing the waters with the retreat and working out some of the kinks. So you might say it was a a pilot version of the retreat so that we can offer it in its fullness later on to all of you. But as I was there on the weekend, I was struck with the couples as they just spent time together. I was reminded that every once in a while, uh, a couple, because they they just love each other, they, they create extra time just to be together, whether the that be in the form of a date or whether that be form of a retreat, whatever it is, every once in a while, because you love the one that you love, you spend some extra time with them to further deepen the love. The same is true in our relationship with God, that there are times and seasons where we spend extra time with the one that we love so that our relationship with God can grow so that Uh, We can have our hearts more, you might say, in tune and in rhythm with where God wants to take us. Many of us are familiar with the concept of a retreat. In fact, this weekend, my dad is at Manresa Retreat Center with many others from our area, spending some extra time alone with the one that he loves, the one that they love. We're familiar with the concept of retreat, and it is really born out of the same you might say, desire that a married couple would have to spend extra time with each other. Sometimes we steal away extra time in our personal lives so that we can spend some extra time with God, the one that we love, for the sake of love, for the sake of relationship. I have a special opportunity to uh, do something this coming August that I was able to do in 2003. 16 years ago, I had the privilege of making a 30-day silent retreat. That 30-day retreat is the full spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius of Loyola. 30 days of silence, 30 days of prayer, 30 days of being with the one that I love. It was a magnificent experience. I I have to be honest with you and, and say that I think it saved my priesthood, and in many ways it saved my life. I learned how to pray in new and exciting ways. I met Mary, the Blessed Mother, there in a very personal way. And it was a powerful experience of me praying with the scriptures and encountering Jesus in a very personal way. Several months ago, I was presented with an invitation to once again participate in a 30-day silent retreat. I was given the opportunity to once again participated in the full spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius of Loyola. On August the 13th, I will be taking a break, you might say, from the ordinary rhythm of life. And at the end of that week, on August the 17th, I will begin a 30-day silent retreat, once again entering into the rhythm of prayer five times a day, five hours a day, for 30 straight days. As I navigate, you might say, an interior pilgrimage, you might say, of the full spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius of Loyola. Now, that's what's going to happen in my life. And I promised you at the beginning of this podcast that there would be a special invitation for you. And just as I am going to spend some extra time with the one that I love, I am inviting you, you might say, to come on retreat with me. I'm inviting you to make a special retreat in the midst of your life. That just as I go on retreat, perhaps we can all go on retreat. Four weeks ago, we began in this podcast conversation a series of teachings on prayer. And there is a method to the madness, you might say. The reason why I invited you to begin to learn about prayer 
is so that we would be ready to begin a retreat experience on Monday, August the 12th. On Monday, August the 12th, our podcasts will change a little bit in their feel as we begin a new journey together in what I am entitling 50 Days. 50 Days is a retreat in the midst of ordinary life. The podcast will provide you with a guided meditation, a scripture passage where you can not only listen to the guided meditation, but take the scripture passage on your own and pray with it. Starting on August the 12th through these podcasts, for the next 50 days, once a day, every day, you will receive a guided meditation that, if you desire to use in this way, will actually provide you a scripted map to make a 50-day retreat in the midst of your life. I'm excited about it. I haven't been excited about something like this in a long time. Every guided meditation is a little bit longer than the traditional podcast, but I feel that it's going to really help all of us encounter the Lord in a very particular and specific way. This weekend at all the Masses at Christ Redeemer, I am not only informing us as a parish family of the special invitation that I have to repeat the 30-day retreat, but to also include all of us here at Christ Redeemer on the journey, the 50-day journey. And as I made that announcement public to them at Mass, I'm sharing it with you, inviting you to consider making the journey also. If you're interested in making the retreat, all you have to do is just keep receiving the podcast. There's nothing new. There's nothing you have to sign up for. If that's not where you are and you'd like to opt out of these emails or, or text messages, just respond and we'll make sure that we respect your desires. If you'd like to forward this message today to others who would be interested in making the retreat in the midst of daily life, then feel free to forward this to them and remind them that they can sign up for the podcast by going to our website, ctr-htdiocese.org. Again, that's ctr-htdiocese.org. Look for the podcast button, and then they can sign up and have these delivered to them daily. Also, as a reminder, if you are receiving these podcasts via email and you'd like to have them now on your phone so that you can listen to the guided meditations in more privacy, you can easily go to our website, again, ctr-hddiocese.org, and just uh, sign up all over again and just give us your telephone number. However you are with us, I'm just excited that you're with us, and I think that beginning on August the 12th, it's going to be a powerful, powerful, powerful experience. Starting tomorrow, our podcast will shift a little bit. I'll begin to get us technically ready for the retreat itself with some practical coaching, but we will use the last four weeks of instruction on prayer as a foundation for us. Looking forward to the retreat experience with you and asking that even now that you might start to pray for me, that all the graces that God has in store for me, which will eventually bless you, would be bestowed upon me and I would be receptive to them. Happy Sabbath. It's been a joy to be with you in some extended conversation today. And until we begin our journey for the retreat preparation tomorrow, God bless you.